Los beneficios de la caridad, parte 1 de 3, en Entre Maestra y Discípulos, impartido en inglés. El 5 de enero de 1995, en Chihu, Taiwán, también llamado Formosa. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. More people and colder every day. Funny, huh? I thought you're going there must be less and less people every day. How come more and more people every day? <laughs> Cannot believe it. What's wrong? Huh? Where do you come from? <laughs> you're not going? You did not go yesterday? Some? Only some. Not too many, right? Oh. I feel like I owe you something every day, huh? I think Chien Tham is more than she. Are you okay? Yeah. Cold? Cold. Not cold? <laughs> 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 uh, yes or no? No. Not cold. <laughs> I hear yes and no, so make up your mind. Yes or no? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> The men say no, the women say maybe. <laughs> oh, gosh. It's really cold, huh? Right? <laughs> Today I have to say yes. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> oh. When is the last day that you stay here? Hmm? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Is the last day? No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm so lucky. <laughs> there will be some yes and some no, some maybe. <laughs> How many people live tomorrow? You see, you see, you see, you see, you see? Not all, you see that? Only 50, 50, 50. Yeah. How many people live after tomorrow? Hmm. How many people don't live at all? <laughs> <laughs> Never want to leave. <laughs> okay, okay, I cannot win. Huh? Oh, there's the trouble with the disciples. <laughs> okay, never mind. I think uh, I just read you a story and that's finished. <laughs> the job of the day. <laughs> Actually, all these stories you can read by yourself. <laughs> no? Have you heard this story before? No. Like a tokataka saka chansara kasara anaga. Did you? No. No? So many stories. I don't know what story to read to you. Our stories are good. From India. Mm. Our devotion to God. A story about devotion is always good. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, you can look at me, huh? Eh? You complain that you don't look at me enough, so look. <laughs> Just look, huh? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't matter, huh? I think I'll read this one, huh? Mm -hmm. There are many similar stories, anyhow. Mm -hmm. If you don't uh, understand English, you should find somebody who understands English next to you and translate it for you, okay? Did you know Find an English person to blah blah into your ears, <laughs> not into my ears. <laughs> then I don't know whether he says it wrong or right, <laughs> and I will not lose my <laughs> inspiration. Okay. Now uh, this is uh, the story of how good it is to be charitable. You know the benefit of charity. You know what charity is, right? Yes. Right. Charity it means every day you cook something and then. Offer to yourself, <laughs> because God is within you. So if you offer to God, it eh, means you offer to yourself, okay? 
Is that right? Yes. <laughs> now, at the foot of the Gadamadana Palaya mountain, <laughs> Indian, you know, where everything is adadadana na na. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just like, uh, uh, how you say, Japanese, everything, oh, kono 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 koko. <laughs> Now, at the foot of the Gandamadana Chamalaka mountain, I read wrong every time, different, mountain every time. <laughs> the same mountain, okay? Same like the first time. There lived an old woman. Do you know what an old woman is? Yeah? If you don't know, look at me. <laughs> okay. Mm. She loved seclusion. Ah, must be a very great practitioner, no? Mm. Seclusion. What do you know? You know what is seclusion is? Huh? No, you don't. Now you're living in seclusion. For example, you came from America, Korea, come here to stay here with yourself. <laughs> okay? And you don't go out shopping or find boyfriends, girlfriends, things like that. And you don't talk to outside people. You stay here in this environment. Far away from everybody, huh? And you meditate every day. And you seclude your mind within yourself in order to find your power, your greatness, your peace. That is seclusion. Yeah. So I don't know what kind of seclusion this is. Let's see, huh? Normally seclusion means like that, okay? Huh. But not the prisoner who is locked up within his cell, okay? <laughs> Anyhow, seclusion. This woman, she loved seclusion. Most people, when they love seclusion, it means they want to be one with God. They want to be alone so that they can think of God, they can meditate on God, they can remember God, they can love God, they can see God, they can hear God, they can talk to God, they can listen to God, they can... <laughs> Eat with God, <laughs> sleep with God, walk with God, see with God, etc. Okay? Now, this is a true seclusion. Yeah? Mm. But she was, this woman is not this case. She was the worst of all the misses in the country. Ah, it means she's very stingy. Misser, huh? Right? St Miser. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Only one S here. <laughs> Misers in the country. Oh, she's a mice. Oh, no. A mouse. <laughs> a mouse never gives anything to anybody. Perhaps that's where the word miser comes from, right? Only one S here. Mm. If two more S's, then would be better, huh? It would become Mrs., huh? <laughs> like me, huh? <laughs> Now, she was the worst miser in, in the country. In India, of course, not in America. Maybe they're worse than that in America, I don't know. <laughs> don't tell them. Okay. Maybe, I always say maybe, okay? Maybe. <laughs> uh, in case I uh, offend your national pride. She lived alone in seclusion just because she didn't like to share her possessions, her food, with other people. Ah, I was thinking. Ah. <laughs> I was having an illusion. I thought she's living there alone because she wanted to think of God and meditate <laughs> like you. Ah, like you, the saints in Mao Li. Huh? But no. Hmm. Charity was unknown to her. She knows nothing about charity. Hmm. She did not part with even one grain of rice for the Cambodian people. <laughs> During her lifetime, never ever did she give anything at all. Not even her cleaning mop, when it's worn out, she would repair it or keep it somewhere in case. Yes, I never give it to anybody. Now there is a God called Lord Vishnu. You know Vishnu, huh? Second world God, huh? Perhaps. <laughs> and he watched with interest the life and action of this famous old lady. He found that she was to die 
soon after New Year. After she eats the first rice cake, she's probably going to choke to death. Actually, there are many Japanese old people who joke on rice cakes during New Year's festival. Make sure you don't eat too much rice cakes, okay? You know the sticky rice cake? Yeah. yeah. I don't know how they can choke on it, but actually somebody did. All right? Maybe this lady who choke on rice cakes, sticky rice cakes, on New Year's, and then she dies soon, okay? And Lord Vishnu saw that she had only three more days of her life on earth. Ah, how good. Mm. <laughs> so that people could share some of her possessions <laughs> after she's gone. Lord Vishnu, therefore, called Kakabhusandi Ananda Maharaja to his side and said to him, My very dear beloved Busandi uh, Ananda Maharaja, look at this <laughs> old lady. She has not done even a little of charity during her life. She has been miserly all throughout her entire existence. You go and try to snatch something from her at least today, because tomorrow she has to die. <laughs> when she dies, she will have some merit to her credit in that case. If you stole something from her, at least some chocolate or something. <laughs> or maybe popcorn. <laughs> Kakabu Sandi Ananda Maharaja nodded. Okay. In the modern language, okay. Oh, I begin to get hot. <laughs> because I have a heater hidden here. <laughs> Not that I have magical power. <laughs> ah. And uh, he took the form of a crow and sat on a tree near the house of Kachani. Kachani is the old woman's name. Hmm? Okay. It was the time when she was washing a handful of black gram soaked in water for cooking her food. Now Bhusandi decided to snatch away a big full of it. Graham, right? What is that? I don't even know what that is. Maybe rice, huh? Maybe. Okay, let's change it into rice to make it, <laughs> to make it more easy. <laughs> okay, now he wanted to snatch a, a big full of rice, okay, from the old lady, the stingy old lady. <laughs> and suddenly, in one leap, he flew near the vessel and took a big full, a big full, huh? A mouthful of grain with lightning speed. <laughs> but the alert old woman grabbed him with a greater speed, speed still. <laughs> Grab him by the neck like this. <laughs> she wrung his neck. Ah, yuck! And <laughs> and kept it twisted, <laughs> so that the grain did not slip down to his stomach. Oh. Yeah, I didn't read this story before. I'm sorry to pick it on New Year for you. <laughs> Make sure you don't do the same thing to the poor birds. Keep your precepts, okay? <laughs> My goodness. Meanwhile, with her other hand, she parted the beak, right? The beak of the bird, and squeezed out, took out to the last grain from the throat of the struggling crow. Oh. Really, she deserves an award from us, huh? <laughs> right? The most miserly woman in the world, right? In history. <laughs>
People worry that a plant-based diet is inadequate to meet nutritional needs. This is the exact opposite of the actual facts. Think of it, plants are the base of the food chain. Do plants need to eat animals, or do animals eat plants? It's obvious that plants are nutrient producers, and animals are nutrient consumers. You get your nutrients from their original source by eating plants. Dr. Janice Stenger, PhD, Vegan